This video is about the smoke detectors. They're made by uh, First Alert and they also have battery backups. Uh, I talked about these previously on the electrical box video, but there was a few other things I wanted to go over. Um, in my case, I left for the winter and I would want to remove these batteries so they wouldn't chirp when they got cold and annoy the neighbors all winter. So uh, there is a battery access panel on these. All you got to do is push the button in and this flips out. Uh, it's supposed to flip out. And then your battery pulls down at this end and slides out. Uh, personally, if I'm doing a lot of work like that and it's the smoke detectors upstairs, I may just take a step ladder and counterclockwise rotate this and take the whole thing down. And there's just a little plug here that will just unplug and allow you to uh, work with the battery down at ground level. But that's up to you. The only thing you got to worry about on this is don't mess with these wires too much because they are 110 volt and you don't want to get a tingle. So and when you're done, just, it's a bayonet type mount. So once you find out where it goes in, just rotate it until it stops. That's it. The other thing I wanted to cover too is this little button. Uh, this is obviously going to test if you hold it. And you know, these are all interwired. So if one detector goes off, it will make the ones in the upstairs and the guest bedroom go off too. So it's always a nice wake me up for uh, everybody in the place if you're burning bacon and this one goes off. But if for some reason the detector goes off and uh, you need to silence it, just take a broomstick, uh, Sherry or Abe, you're tall enough, just push the button once and it'll silence it for 10 minutes. So. And then to run a test, just hold it. You can hear the other ones going off. So, but that's it for the smoke detectors. And you do have a couple spares that I bought, and I will leave those with you in the event that uh, one goes bad. And that's it for now.